everybody, welcome to Jay Speak. This week we cover questions. First question, I have a Mesa TC100 and then I have a Marshall 2020 and a JPM1 preamp. Should I keep the Mesa or the Marshall? You know, honestly, I think it comes down to personal preference. I will say that Triple Crown has not been my favorite amp by Mesa. I was really excited when I heard it was coming out. I was really excited to get it. And honestly, I was underwhelmed by the amp. And that could have been because I was so hyped to get it. <laughs> I was so excited to get that amp. I just, the clean, the clean's good. I love Channel 2. Channel 2 is wonderful. It reminds me of the EVH uh, 5150 EL34 Channel 2. I think that amplifier too, that that channel specifically is is really, really amazing. Channel 3, I was underwhelmed by, and I know in your email to me you had said that. You weren't as kind as that, but <laughs> yeah, channel 3 is not my favorite on that amplifier. And I don't I don't know if it's just because of maybe the music I gravitate towards. It wasn't my favorite to play. I think channel 2 was my favorite on that amplifier. And have a three channel amp where you really only love one channel is not enough to keep it. If it was a single channel amp and that was like one of the settings you, you know, configure, wonderful. But to have such a beast of an amp, it was like, you know what, I I'm done with this and I moved on. So my advice to you, unfortunately, would be get rid of the TC. Keep your Marshall rig and or, you know, kind of get rid of all of it and get like a new flavor Marshall. You know, Freedmans are awesome. Like I would look at the Dirty Shirley or Twin Sister. They're amazing amps and very Marshall-esque. I mean, so is the small box and, and the, those types of things. But if you just want to keep your Marshall and get rid of your Triple Crown, I think that's a great move in my personal opinion. Question two, are you gonna get any of the other Strymon Midnight pedals? So they just released, and I think this was either at the beginning of this week or last week. And But they released the Mobis, the Timeline, the Dig, and the Blue Sky. And I've already seen comments about it should be called the Black Sky, not the Blue Sky. No, I, I don't think I'll get it. I will say that I really do enjoy a midnight version of the timeline in Mobis. I think that's really cool. I mean, the timeline at this point has been out forever. So looking at that same gray box is not, you know, as pleasing to me as maybe like a black sparkle color. I already have the original dig and quite honestly, I like the pink and I think that's cool. I had a blue sky way back and then when the big sky came out, I got that and I was like, oh boy, forget it. I got rid of the blue sky because the big sky covered everything the blue sky did that I was using it for and beyond. So no, I probably won't pick up any of the other midnight pedals at this point. I can't think if there is another pedal if they made a midnight version of that I would actually purchase. And that's not saying that their, their pedals are bad by any means because I own a ton of their pedals. I tend to like the variety. It would be kind of cool to make an all midnight board by Strymon, but I, I don't think that's in the budget. <laughs> for me at this point but anyway will you be getting any of them because they are they are really really cool if you have any questions or comments please leave them below or feel free to email me contact the j at gmail.com as always thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe many more videos to come don't miss one sub